Hello and welcome everyone, Lanhart here with some XCOM 2. Now before I crack on with my Let's Play which will be released later on today, this should be going up in the early hours of Friday the 5th of February 2016 and the full Let's Play will be out later on this afternoon, this evening uh, and it'll be the first part then. But I wanted to make this video first to cover the difficulty setting I'm going to be playing on the kind of layout and structure of the Let's Play videos themselves and talk extensively about the character pool customization which will actually enable me to name and kind of customize characters that will appear as either soldiers, VIPs or I believe dark VIPs as well um, in the game itself and you guys down below will find a template that I've set out of all the various options or the major options anyway and if you copy that template and include your own information or include the information you think would be relevant to a specific Total War or other YouTuber uh, first of all I'm gonna probably start naming my soldiers that I put into the pool after other Total War YouTubers so you can feel free to add some quirky bits in there if you want to make a template for a Total War YouTuber such as Warrior Sparta, Alex the Rambler, Malekith Scardi, Smart Donkey uh, Surreal Beliefs, Pixelated Apollo, all, all the all the chat, Air of Carthage, Prince of Mastodon, you know, to name butter for you. So um, we'll start with those guys probably, but uh, I believe it was Commander Wolf highly recommended that I actually didn't name uh, or customize my first kind of initial set of soldiers until they started gaining a couple of ranks just in case I end up killing them all, which is a high possibility with this. But I'll go through those customization options in a moment and uh, during that feel free to pause the video and kind of make a note of the customization options that you have and, and take a look at them all as I go through them in depth. But as I said, that template will be down in the comment section, so feel free to copy that and then paste it as a comment with obviously it filled in with your specifics. And feel free to name it after yourself or after a TV personality, you know, go go crazy, or as I said, another YouTuber. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to be aiming to do this Let's Play on Veteran Difficulty because this is my first... Uh, let's play my first playthrough properly of an XCOM game. I haven't played the previous XCOM and I've played about 2-3 hours of XCOM 2 at a preview event last week um, which 2K and Green Man Gaming invited me to. So apart from that I am... Oh, and I've, and I've watched a fair few Let's Play videos so far from the likes of, I believe it's Elysium and Quill18, I've been watching their stuff and I was watching Elysium's Top 10 uh, or EE and uh, that seems very useful so far, so some good tips there. Plus you guys have already started throwing loads down at me. Uh, I know in particular Commander Wolf um, has been throwing a fair bit of advice at me as well in the comments of my previous video. So it's all much appreciated. So just bear in mind this Let's Play is going to be from like a noob perspective. But if you're new to the series as well and kind of wanting to learn, what I'm hoping that this Let's Play will show is, um, you know, the gradual progression of what the hell am I doing to ah, I know exactly what I'm doing that may well take a while so obviously patience is appreciated feedback is um, greatly uh, appreciated and in fact requested um, as much as you're willing to give feel free to throw it down there you know as long as it's constructive I you know totally appreciate it so feel free to give it to me um, you know, as much advice as you can. So I'm, um, yeah, aiming to play with veteran because it says it's a challenge appropriate for players familiar with XCOM. I'd rather not start a rookie because that says appropriate players new to tactical games or XCOM in general. I think I think I'm, I could probably just about do with veteran. I, I reckon I reckon I'd give myself a bit of a challenge. Um, Commander, that says significant challenge uh, for experienced XCOM two players. I am not ex um, experienced at all. And Legend, well, that disables the tutorial to start with, so that's not a good sign. Um, maybe I'll do a Legend um, Iron Man mode. After I complete a playthrough, or I'll attempt an, a legendary uh, Iron Man playthrough mode or something like that. So, yeah, I'm going to go for Veteran, and this Iron Man mode that I've been mentioning, I'm going to do a Let's Play Veteran without Iron Man mode. Because Iron Man mode, as it says here, is... Um, in Iron Man game, your progress is saved automatically, meaning every choice you make is final. Iron Man mode is the ultimate XCOM experience, which it sounds awesome, and it really does kind of put your, you know, your units on the line. But I am, I am so not ready for that. Um, I am so inexperienced. It says recommended for experienced players only, and I am certainly not experienced. So bear with me. But I hope you'll enjoy this all the same. Again, especially those of you that are kind of looking at this and going, it looks really cool, but I have no idea where to start. I'll be kind of experiencing that first off, first hand. Normally with other games that I do Let's Plays of, I've got some idea of what I'm doing and I've played them before, but this is going to be raw and 
you know, my first playthrough properly on YouTube, um, straight up for you guys to view as it's happening for me pretty much. So that's the difficulty settings. Character pool. So now is the time to make your notes, get ready to comment. Um, you, I believe you can import characters. Um, I don't specifically know how you can send them across. I think um, a YouTuber that goes by the name of Odd. What is it? I'm not sure what his full title is, but his kind of nickname or, sh or shortened name is uh, is Odd. He's done some videos on how to import them, but I think I'm just going to kind of create them fresh. And um, when you go to the create option, the stuff you fill in from the template that you'll find down in the comment section below is what I'll be putting in here. So. Uh, now is the time, I guess, to kind of pause the video, make a note of all these things, or again, use that template and get thinking about what options you want. So I'm going to go through each of these and show you all the various options that you can choose. Obviously, just down at the bottom here, again, you can see um, it can appear as a soldier, can appear as VIP. So I assume that's for VIP rescue missions. I could actually come and rescue you, which sounds pretty cool, and can appear as a dark VIP. So I'm not sure exactly what that's about, but we'll find out, I'm sure. So character info. Um, we click, we click on that, we've got first name, last name, nickname, we can add a biography, so feel free to get creative with those as well. I will add this all in. This though that this will be done though outside of recording, just because I could probably spend hours and hours just making all these custom characters, but I will, every time I add a few in, kind of quickly show you the new ones that I've thrown into the pool. Uh, we can choose the nationality, and there's so many countries. I don't know if every single country is represented there, but there is a plethora of countries there. Again, now is the time to pause the video if you want to see if your country is there. Um, if you're not sure of an option though, feel free to leave a secondary option, just make that clear. Obviously gender, male or female. So props, now there's hats and helmets. And again, there are just so, so many here to choose from. <laughs> That's really cool, Delta, oh yeah, they're definitely be some Delta masks in there. So yeah, those are all the masks. And hats, arms, several arms there. Again, I'm going to go through these quickly, but you can come back, pause the video, and just take a look at all the various options as they stand. And choose how you want your characters represented. Or, as I said, if you want to craft a template for a character for a specific YouTuber, Total War and non-Total War, but Total War ones are going to be the ones I, I throw in first, just because I think it'll be funny throwing Jackie Fish into the fray. I mean, looking after Jackie Fish very kindly, I totally don't hold it against him, what he's done recently in the Sins of a Solar Empire, or Galactic Empire series. Torso, so it's basically kind of different jackets, so if you don't know which one you really want, just choose a number. So you've got aviators, they're gonna they're gonna be in there. Oh nice. Dark sunglasses. There's so many to choose from. I love it. All the different options there. Oh wow, pirate mask. Nice. Eye patch. Pirate mask? Eye patch. You can tell it's late. Pirate mask! No, it's an eye patch, Lionheart. Oh, a monocle. Hells yeah. There's gonna be an incredibly British chap in here somewhere. I wonder I wonder if I should make myself. Is that a good idea? I'd probably get really like torn up if I killed myself. Uh, can, we, can you make like solid snake? You can probably make other video game characters. I saw someone saying that they'd made um, all of the X Men in their game, which sounds awesome. You've got armor patterns as well. Let's probably show on the back, is a bit better way of showing all these. I'm going through these quickly, I know. But again, just choose one that you think will best suit your character. Or leave it up to me and just tell me to choose one that I think is best. I think you can come back and customize characters as much as you want later on. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. So if that's the case, we can come and tweak a character later on. So if you feel like a specific character should... Are oh, these all the same for weapons as well? So if you feel a specific character should be tweaked or changed, then you know feel free to let me know. Uh, weapon pattern, left arm, tattoos. Oh, I should probably show... Oh, wow, yellow. Oh, nice. You can. Uh, oh, next comes sleeve. Sweet. Oh, tattoo color. Of course, it's bright yellow. That's probably not the best. Scars you can have as well. Ooh, you got, you got burnt a little bit there, lass. But yeah, you've, you've not done too well there with that face. Ooh, nice. I want to try and make some Final Fantasy characters. 
So you've got various different skulls. So I mean, if you if you don't want to get you know too crazy with all the details, then that's fair enough. But I would I probably will prioritize those of you that kind of take the time to you know make the effort to really throw in all the detail because then they're going to be even more kind of awesome characters that we're going to get attached to basically. Um, so we've gone through all that face. There's various faces to choose from. That's for. There, I probably should. Yeah, I assume is that the same for men and women? I probably not. Let's go check. Although it would help if he didn't have a silly bandana on his face. Oh, I need the uh, the lower face prop. Just give him the cigarette for now. Oh dear, Nick's got. There we go. So we're going back to the face. That chin, though. Hair wise, you have so many options. I wonder if someone's going to create like a Game of Thrones squad. There's so many possibilities. So many possibilities. Oh, what? There are, there are hundreds of possibilities. So. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show all these that easily, but just choose one that you can see the wording of that looks good. Nice. There are so many options here. Facial hair. Nice. Nice beard. Scruffy beard. Me lack of the scruffy. And if anyone wants to make a template for me, then feel free, like for, for a Lionheart-esque character. That'd be pretty cool. Give you a scruffy beard. I'm not actually making this character right now, but... So you can see all the different colours. So, you know, you can get really in-depth with all the customization here, which is great. I mean, he's got purple eyes now. He's crazy. There are three, uh, four different races to choose. Main army color. Oh, nice. So we can choose all the colors. So again, yeah, if you want specific color. I mean, we could make Power Rangers. Oh, Power Ranger squad. Hell yeah. Weapon color. We've already... Oh, no, that was the skin, wasn't it? Of course, we've got voices as well. So, oh, wow, there's... Roger that. Got it. Moving. Affirmative. Move, move, move. Moving out. Got it. On it. <laughs> well, the, wow. So, yeah, again, voices. There's so many. Uh, you got mainly Amer you got American, UK English, Australian English, French, German, Italian, Spanish. So quite a lot covered there. Attitude as well. These are quite important. You got um, well, I assume. I don't know. Oh, it's just their. Is it just their their stance? How they stand and how they look. Maybe not that important, but that swag, swagger. By the book, laid back, normal, twitchy, happy go lucky, hard luck, or intense. And then soldier class, of course. Um, you can choose the class, whether they're a rookie or whether they're an assigned one, such as a ranger, um, sharpshooter, grenadier specialist, uh, psi operative, or a random class. So let me know all that. And uh, can appear as soldier VIP or dark VIP. Let me know uh, whether they can appear as one or all of them. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Let me know. That is the customization there. As you can see, super extensive as this video has been a lot longer than I thought it was going to be already. But uh, yeah, let me know. And I hope you guys look forward to my full Let's Play of XCOM 2 Veteran Difficulty No Iron Man mode. Uh, it will be out the first part with the tutorial to kick things off later on today. Until then, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride and join the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, XMG, Green Man Gaming, and GTM Mega Rating. Until next time, ciao for now.